All right, hello again, everyone. Uh, I already got one made here. I'll continue with my little test tiles. You can see here. This is what I got, what I came out with. And they work pretty good, too. And, uh... I'll get a nice double coat on this side where I got the deeper pocket and then on this part with the smaller pocket I'll just go with a single coat and it, these work pretty good for crystalline glazes um, the only thing is people usually have a bigger test to kind of understand how the crystal formation is going to be but um, yeah, I, I feel like I get enough understanding this way, and I can at least see a crystal formation, and I'll get a nice surprise if I get a big formation. So yeah, that's it right there. And I'll go ahead and make one. Um, make one for y'all. I uh, already made this one, and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> but uh yeah, here, whenever I did this, here, let me raise this up, a little better view, but I went across like that, four, and cut it into fourths, and then inside of each fourth, I made uh, three, so I'll end up with twelve. But I get this needle tool here. I shall go and use this. This guy's pretty sharp. And I'll just go down in like that. Make this cut. And get them out of there. Alright, so from here, I got this opening, these two openings on each side. And I'm just going to close them off. I'll kind of just push down a little bit. And these have been sitting for a bit, so they're maybe a little too dry. But it's still working out, I think. And even so, I'll just get a little little water and yeah, that works a lot better. And just smooth it out. And then I'll come in with this right here and push up against my finger there and just compress that area. And if y'all can see, I'll flip it over that way, you can see it better. But uh, this part right here, right here, is kind of facing inward. And when the glaze runs down this area, right here, it will probably want to run out. So. I'll push, that's why I push up against my finger here and bring this area out to where it's on the outside of this wall so when the glaze here wants to run down it'll catch right here and run in Uh, yeah, that's it right there. Oh, and, uh, and I'll bring this down again. And we'll do the next little indention. I'll use the end of my needle tool here. 
to just push right in there. Yeah, and like I said, these are getting a little dry, but I can still manage it, I think. And that's pretty much the biggest part about making these. You're working with such a small piece of clay that um, if you don't get the consist the the moisture consistency right, it makes it a little harder to work with because if it's got too much water in it, it falls apart really easy in your hand. But if it's too dry, you can't move it and it cracks. So just be considerate of that. Might take you a few tries. It definitely did me. But uh, I bet you could do it. Just got to try. Give it a try, you know. I'll go ahead and just cut this off early because I don't, I don't need it. There. Save it again for later. But yeah, here they are. Two little guys ready to go. That's it. Hopefully these don't take me too long. Um, I feel like they're really worth the worth the effort, especially when it comes to creating your own glazes. There's always nice surprises, and um, it's really surprising how um, similar some of the glazes I've got offline have been. Although most of them are cone six glazes, um, I've been firing at cone five, so it kind of just gives me. Um, a place where I can experiment and have to really understand, like force myself to make changes um, when it comes to the firing temperature and when it comes to the composition of the glazes. It really uh, forces me to uh, make those changes to where I can understand and um, yeah, understand the heat work and uh, fluxes and how the alumina content comes into play and and yeah and um, it's always exciting <laughs> it's one of the cool parts about pottery opening up your glaze kiln and uh, these firings coming up um, I'll be having some single fire pieces so that'll be really exciting and that's something that uh, I'll be working with single firing Seems like a good way to go. I don't know how well it's going to work in cone 5, but maybe I'll end up going up to cone 6. But, um, yeah, who knows? It'll all work out. But uh, until next time, y'all have a nice day, nice evening. It's dark here now, but either way, y'all have a good one. Until next time.